first meal of the day. Can't go wrong with ice cream for breakfast. And this flavor is really good. Birthday cake halo top. Give this a try. So I also added four servings of this whipped topping. The last of it. And I'm eating that with my halo top. So I'm going to have two servings of this classic hummus now. And then two of these caramel corn rice cakes. I had this yesterday for the first time and it was really good. So um, I'm going to try it with some rice cakes. And then that's going to do it for pre-workout. And then I'll go hit the gym. So a few vlogs back you guys asked me what I put in my water jug. You guys thought it was BCAs and you guys wanted to know what kind of BCAs I took. And I told you guys I put Crystal Light into my water jug just to make it taste better. But I found these bad boys, these crushed pineapple um, flavor pouches and they're honestly amazing. And it takes this whole, this whole package. This whole package brings six little pouches and I have to put all six into this um, jug so that it can, it can get that flavor, that pineapple flavor, but it's so worth it. Each of these um, boxes are a dollar. So not bad um, to make your water taste good. Um, everything is at zero, zero fat, zero sodium, zero carb, zero sugar, zero protein. Um, so zero calories and it tastes amazing. It um, helps me drink my water a lot quicker and it helps me get at least two gallons in because it tastes so good that I just want to keep drinking and drinking. So really recommend those crushed pineapple um, flavor pouches. Fuck man, I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my white uh, fly knits today, my Air Max fly knits. Look at the weather outside, it's horrible. No, I'm gonna fuck these up. <laughs> I have the worst luck when it comes to sneakers. Always wear, I always tend to wear white sneakers when it's raining out when it's super ugly out. <sighs> Fucking annoying. So I'm here at Vitamin Shop uh, because I came to pick up I don't know if you remember the online coach, Goku Flex. There was a whole bunch of athletes that were sponsored by Man Sports. And they used to take um, their supplements. And I honestly never got to try any of their supplements. And I'm going to pick up a pump product just because my Agmatine, you guys know I've been taking Agmatine. My Agmatine finished. And I honestly do feel a big difference in pumps when I take Agmatine as to when I don't take it. And um, it just gets extremely difficult for me to get pumps at the gym. Especially now that I'm on a on a on an extreme deficit, I'm like five weeks out from my competition. Uh, my glycogen isn't up there, so it's just very very hard to get pumps. And I feel like at this point, this pump product could come in handy and it could make me feel better at the gym. So um, I'm all about it. I'm all about um, getting products that actually work and actually help me mentally and give me an edge. Um, then I am going to spend money on it. But if it's a product like a fat burner or something that's just bullshit and doesn't work, I'm honestly not gonna recommend it on the channel. So a pump product for me at this moment um, is, is very, very useful. I've noticed a difference with Agmatine. Um, like I said, when I take it, when I don't take it, and it does help me get better pumps at the gym. So I'm gonna go in there, hopefully I find it. They said they have one in stock when I checked online. So I hope, fingers crossed, I can get my hands on the last one. All right, so I did end up finding what I was looking for. Got the pump product here by Man Sports. Um, the bad thing is that I didn't find the flavor that I was looking for, which is the Sour Batch flavor, which is supposed to taste like Sour Patch Kids, and that's one of my favorite candies in the world. But um, I got the Blue Bombsicle. I've heard this one tastes really good too. Um, this doesn't have any um, stimulants, no caffeine, so I can stack this with my pre-workout with show you guys if you guys don't already know I show this in like every vlog but this is my pre-workout of choice ESP by metabolic nutrition it's hands down the best pre-workout that I've ever tried but I'm gonna stack um, my pre-workout with some of this and hopefully it gives me a good pump just the way Agmatine did this does have some Agmatine in it and it has some other things um, but yeah hopefully it works I'll let you guys know after my workout how I felt um, and we're gonna go hit the gym right now. Gonna hit a push workout, bench press, and overhead press, main compound movements for today. And then gonna have some fun with accessory work. Um, now that I'm five weeks out, 
I honestly don't have like staple accessory movements, staple isolation work um, like I do when I'm in my off season. Um, right now I'm just focusing on keeping my strength in the main compound movements and then when it comes to isolation work I just honestly have fun, do different things all of the time um, just so that I can keep my training interesting and another reason why I do it is because I'm losing a lot of motivation now that I'm five weeks out uh, my energy levels are like down the drain um, my leverages on the squats on, the, on all the big movements are like trash like honestly my lifts have went down like crazy and um, that's the reason why I you know switch it up with isolation work when I um, finish my big movements but yeah um, we're gonna go hit the gym now and I will check in with you guys at the gym Alright guys, so I didn't even record too much at the gym today. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to include it in this video. It was like 2-3 clips of me working out. But um, this is my post-workout meal. I have about 15 ounces of chicken here. And then like a ton of vegetables. I got um, cabbage, broccoli, carrots, um, lettuce, um, cauliflower. There's a whole bunch of veggies in here. And this is something that I like to do just to add volume. But I'll touch on that in the next clip because this is the topic of today's video. So I'm going to enjoy this and then I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So the whole point of this video, the topic that I wanted to touch on in this video is some tips to avoid feeling hungry. Now let me say that when you're on a dieting phase, when you're cutting, there's it's going to get to a point where even as a flexible dieter, even when, you know, as a flexible dieter, you can eat foods that you enjoy, um, like chocolate, candy, things like that, you can fit it into your macros, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to get to a point where you're gonna feel hungry, where it's gonna get very, very difficult, and that's something that I'm going through right now. Um, I've been dieting for a really long time now, and um, my competition is five weeks out from today. So, um, oh, my TV is coming on. Um, let me turn that off. Hold on. All right, so as I was saying, my competition is five weeks out from today, and it's getting to a point. Well, it already got to a point where I'm just feeling hungry all the time, um, and I'm not looking for foods anymore that are gonna satisfy me. Um, in terms of taste, like for example, in, be in, the, in the beginning of prep, I was fitting in chocolate bars, um, my favorite candies, um, for example, Sour Patch Kids, um, I was fitting Hershey bars into my macros, but if I do that now, I'm not getting too much volume out of that, and my macros aren't that high anymore, I'm feeling extremely hungry all the time, so that's not the smartest thing to do. Um, so I'm going to give you guys five tips as to how you can avoid feeling all that hungry, even though you're still going to feel hungry, don't get me wrong, but these are just some tips to uh, minimize it as much as possible. So the number one thing is don't cut calories too fast, and this is something that I did 
when I when I the first time I ever started tracking macros, I started cutting calories for no reason. So for example, if you're dieting and your goal is just to lose a couple pounds, um, you have no specific date that you need to be ready. You know, just take your time. Um, only cut calories when you're when you step on the scale and you see that no weight loss has occurred that that specific week. Then you can cut calories. But if you lose weight, if you're still losing weight on the macros that you are. Um, that you're on, um, just milk those calories, milk those macros until you completely stop losing weight and then that's when you can um, start cutting calories, start cutting macros um, and you don't want to cut them down too fast either. I think 100 calories at most is perfect when you stop losing weight. You cut calories by 100 and then stay on those macros until you stop losing weight again then you keep cutting calories by 100. That's my sweet spot and that's what I like to do. Um, Again, this is only for people that aren't on contest prep or aren't um, dieting for a specific date. These are for th these tips are for people that you know can take their time. Um, there, there's no rush, and and yeah, the point is to diet as slowly as possible so that you can preserve as much muscle as possible. So that's the number one tip: don't cut calories too fast. It's something that I did. It's something that if you do cut calories too fast you're gonna lose a lot of muscle and you're going to end up feeling extremely hungry end up in a place where you're not going to you're not going to have any any more playroom you let's say you're cutting calories extremely fast and you end up eating a thousand calories a day if you cut another hundred calories you're only gonna be eating 900 calories a, a day and that's extremely low so take your time so that you can lose as much weight as possible Number two is, and I'm looking here because I have my notes here, I don't want to miss anything. Number two is to start with very little cardio, again for the same reasons, you want to milk the cardio that you're on. What I like to do is I start with no cardio at all, when I, when I first start my dieting phase, I start with absolutely no cardio, and then when I see that, you know, I stop losing weight, I start adding, let's say I add one session, and then slowly add another session. Um, you don't have to start with five sessions right off the bat when you first start dieting just because um, you're gonna again end up in a place where you're not gonna have any more any more playroom and you're gonna end up doing cardio seven days a week for like an hour each session so that's something that you don't want to do unless you're crazy and you enjoy doing cardio which is just crazy <laughs> um, number three is to eat high volume foods um, an example of that was my last meal that you guys just saw uh, I like to eat a lot of vegetables. That whole bowl full of vegetables that I had, it was a huge bowl by the way, um, had about 20 grams of carbs. I think even less than that. So if I was to fill up a whole bowl like that full of rice instead of vegetables, I'd be eating around 200 grams of carbs. So um, you know, eat your vegetables, especially when you get to a point where I'm at. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm at the point where I don't care too much about taste anymore, I just want to feel full, I want to feel bloated, like that's my goal right now, I just want to feel satisfied in the sense that my stomach just feels full, I don't care about taste. So um, yes, there's ways to make your ve your veggies taste good, but it's never going to be the same as having like a big bowl of cereal, you know, carbs from vegetables aren't going to taste that great, I'm being honest, but it's a great way to get your volume um, extremely high and it's something that I like to do, it satisfies me. Um, but it's only gonna satisfy you for a couple hours and then you're gonna feel, you're gonna go back to feeling extremely hungry, but it's worth it. It's completely worth it because if you were to get those, those carbs from like cereal, all right, for example, that bowl was 20 grams of carbs. Um, 20 grams of carbs coming from cereal would be nothing. Would be absolutely, it would be like a little cup of cereal. So, um, I have some examples here of ways that you guys can you know, get a lot of volume. If you guys make Jello, these Jello packets, these are extremely high in volume. And another thing that I honestly don't see too many people mentioning is this smart, this smart popcorn. Um, it's like 20, 22 grams of carbs for a bowl of popcorn. So, really two um, really good examples here. Um, if you guys want to try those out, go ahead. They taste extremely good. Number four is to drink a lot of water. At this point in prep, I'm five weeks out, like I said, I'm drinking about two gallons of water a day and it helps me feel full. Um, when I don't have macros left, you know, I drink a lot of water, I just start chugging water and it helps my stomach feel full. 
And number five is again fluids, diet sodas. The carbonation in diet sodas is gonna help you feel full. Um, what I like to do at night when I'm feeling hungry and I don't have any more macros left, I get about like two cans of soda and I get the caffeine free one. So examples of caffeine free sodas would be Sprite Zero, uh, Diet 7 Up, um, Diet Crush. Uh, you can get Coke, the Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi caffeine free, but um, it's really hard to find at gas stations and stuff unless you go to the supermarket and buy yourself like a whole pack of sodas. But um, yeah, caffeine free sodas at night, I just tend to chug them and the carbonation helps me feel full. So those are my five tips guys to avoid feeling hungry. Again, this is going to help you out uh, temporarily. Uh, because you know you're in a dieting phase and feeling hungry is just the nature of things when you're dieting um, But yeah, I hope you guys found those tips helpful I don't know if I'm going to continue the vlog from here But um, if I don't please leave this video a like and I will see you guys in the next one Laters